Hello, today we're going to have a wee look at the Exporter Pro um, export features. So to access the export uh, functionality in the exporter, uh, you must select a sheet or view. Um, you can select one or multiple sheets um, or views. And then just click the export button on the ribbon. The export dialog will pop up then and you've got several tabs where you can export to different file types DWF, DWFX, DWG, DXF, PDF, uh, IFC, Drafting Views and DGN for Sheets. If you've selected a 3D view you also get NWC and FBX. To um, export a sheet to a DWF um, Set up your um, page size just like you would in Revit normally um, and this goes with all other export uh, file formats that are typically sheet based um, say A1, uh, landscape, uh, it could be zoom to fit 100% or um, fit to page. Uh, choose your um, hidden line remover, whether it's a uh, vector or, or not. Um, any kind of uh, graphic setting for compressed raster formats. Whether you want to hide unreferenced tags, um, replace halftone with thin lines. Um, any kind of other additional settings like export room data. You can combine, you can combine multiple sheets into a single DWF ticking the combine button there and down the bottom uh, it's important to select the export format that you want whether it's a plain DWF or whether it's a DWFX um, or both. Um, you can also publish to an FTP site down here by ticking publish to FTP site and that will export the files and publish them to an FTP site. Um, you must set up the FTP configuration uh, including the host, the username, password, whether the transfer mode is active or passive and whether you want to keep, replace, uh, rename the remote files or not. Uh, clicking the test button there will test whether the F FTP details are correct or not. Any kind of export configurations for each file format can be saved. Um, you can save um, just the active one or you can save them all by ticking the save all. And if you want to retrieve any saved configurations, any of these kind of settings that you use frequently, you can load them from a file. The configuration settings also include um, the folder naming um, and um, whether you want to use any kind of filter uh, or parameter codes in the creation of um, folder names and you can set the um, export folders to be the same for all export file types as well so if you've got multiple ones selected like um, PDF and DWF you can send the files that have been created to the same folder by ticking this export uh, folder for all file types. Um, choosing the folder just click on the folder icon uh, browse to where you would like the files to go, say DWF, and if you would like them to go into a subdirectory based on the current date or any other kind of parameters in the project file, uh, just add another slash and choose the file format codes here and we can do something like date and we can add the date in there and you can see that the date is present. The date format is uh, configured here um, so if you want it in reverse order, maybe it's um, something like that, you can change it to the reverse order. Naming the files, uh, you can type in uh, a name, say test, um, you can include underscores, brackets, um, all sorts of little things that you might like. Um, I just put RTV tools in here, underscore, and I can use the um, parameter icon here to call out parameters, things um, that are common, um, say the, the, the building name, a client name, um, maybe the sheet name, sheet number is always a good one, uh, bracket, 
revision close bracket that's quite a common one and we again we can use the same file name syntax for all exported files and I'm going to go and tick that one for for that um, and I'll, I'm going to set up a, a PDF as well I, choosing uh, exporting to PDF is beneficial because you get this kind of file um, folder naming conventions automatically if you uh, print to PDF you don't get a chance to do this um, so I'd recommend that you always export to PDF again same thing applies set up your sheet configuration how you would like it to be um, this all the, the the standard kind of configuration here and we can choose to create separate files or combine them into a single PDF um, I'm going to create separate files just to illustrate this uh, automatic folder file naming for both of these um, and I'm going to send these to a different folder so I'm going to go into the training folder here I'm just going to choose the PDF folder for this one and I'm going to put the date in there as well so the date and then once once you're uh, happy with the the types of files that you're about to create um, the last thing to do is just click OK I'll just have a quick look at the other settings uh, DWG you can set up all your export settings um, hatch patterns, um, layer standards can all be configured within the RTV exporter just like you can in Revit. Um, IFC, there are all the preset configurations for IFC as well. Uh, drafting views, uh, that's a, a special um, addition that we've added into the exporter and that will allow you to create um, project files of drafting views um, that have been created in your your Revit project file that could be useful for uh, detailing views that are required for manufacturers uh, DGN and we've got the settings for a DGN here the RVZ that's a, a feature that is coming later in the year um, I'm just going to go and click OK here and that the exporter will go and do its thing now uh, you can see it's creating the DWFs and it'll just process the sheets um, the PDFs are being created the, it's important with your PDFs to um, set up the PDF virtual engine to create the uh, PDFs automatically and to if you don't want the annoying PDFs popping up over and over again uh, turn off the uh, preview when finished um, option if I just have a look at in my folders now um, I can see that the date folder has been created and the PDFs are being created if I go up a couple of levels and my DWFs are, are being created as well and that's all there is to exporting files with the RTV exporter it creates what can be quite a tedious task um, and, and streamline it and make it quite an automated feature